just uh, we, we just installed it yesterday and today started yeah, running production. Awesome. Maybe That's some awesome. feedback. So like wanted to know just what I thought so far. After I mean it's been really good so far. I, uh, honestly, I, I know obviously it took them some time to do the program. Yeah, and I understand the programming takes time and then the probing. Uh, I get that as well. Yeah. Um, I definitely can see how this would be extremely simple to use in a production environment. I mean, so far I like it a lot and these guys do too. Uh, mm -hmm. The welds look pretty clean, you know, yeah. kind of considering that it's robotic yeah, well, welding. What, what, what this part's up for? Uh, this is actually a stand for a solar uh, oh, tracker. It's oh, a solar nice. tracker, yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. This is, I mean, honestly, it's working exactly how we would Love it to work, so it's pretty good. And the software Great. seems pretty easy to use, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you familiar with the robotics uh, before? So you yeah. understand the difference, like what our software brings? Uh, Absolutely. Here? I've seen this Yaskawa arm used before in an actual shop environment, production-wise. So I knew the programming was much more, uh, much more difficult yeah um, than what i've seen here yeah so this seems pretty easy and self-explanatory you know to really look at the 3d model and just kind of indicate you know with a really simple user interface how it works so yeah and i'm also like a software guy so that that's why this makes mm -hmm. much more sense to me i've seen the controllers well i see you still have the handheld controller but probably not used the same way yeah absolutely. right so that's absolutely. um I think that's a huge, huge difference from like just a regular system. Yeah, that's I, great. I think that's why people are turned off to robotic equipment and machinery because the controllers on these and the, the programming, it, it's really not intuitive whatsoever. This seems pretty intuitive. So. Yeah, and you need to do it every time. Yeah, when you switch yep. from one job to another. Exactly. Yeah. And most probably you will not be able to run the production next day you install the cell. Yeah? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Nice. So. Nice. Yeah. What do you, what do you think? Would uh, some fabrications like yours consider having a system like that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice. I think nice. it could it has real world applications, real production applications, especially, you know, we're right now we're allowing obviously the robot to just probe, but in a real production environment we'd probably build fixed string so that you sure. can bypass the, uh, Absolutely. you know, do the one test probe on yeah. the one and then... For, for, only the first uh, exactly. part, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Yeah. But, I mean, seeing how quickly you guys got that program and set up, that definitely makes it a viable option for a production shop like, nice. you know, like nice. the operation we have.